Hey guys, so I'm going to jump right into this. Um, episode one really just kind of jumped into two major things really quick that I am all about, and that's animals and music and how it can be a benefit to you. Um, I gave you homework. I hope some of you guys did it, and you know, I didn't see any comments, but that's okay. Um, so this episode I want to reiterate if you haven't gone and checked out my other comment or other content that's okay this is going to give you an idea of why I'm doing this um, so I started Jeff's healing music and started creating content and talking about this stuff because my real big journey started when in 2013 I got hit with a migraine so bad that my wife brought me to the hospital because I fainted. This snowballed into them discovering that I had a pea-sized tumor in my left eye uh, called choroidal melanoma and that resulted in me getting stereotactic radiation to the eye, um, you know, to the head area and that um, was interesting. So that happened in August of 2013. By August of 2015, I ended up with multi-angle closure glaucoma, which is just a fancy way of saying I had glaucoma for multiple different reasons. And uh, they were dumbfounded as to how to get it controlled in a manner that didn't disturb the interior of the eye because of the cancer. Um, so there were some ways that we could have done it, but it would have been intrusive. Uh, so ultimately the eye came out in August of 2015 on my remission anniversary, no less, August 21st. Um, the whole time I'd been having recurring migraines very badly. Um, so now rolling forward, 2017. In the summer of 2017 through the summer, I had, actually even in 2016, I went through a stint where I wanted to start the channel and things were gonna go great. And then I was really starting to feel horrible and my body was aching. And if you go back in my content, you'll see I did a video because I wanted to go live and I couldn't. Um, but that's what happens. Uh, and then that lasted for quite a while and they thought of testing for several things like Lyme disease and others. But in 2017, I had a migraine hit so severe and it never went away. Even to this day, I still carry a high headache pretty much all the time ranging on a one to ten at about a three at its minimum so but in 2017 that progressed and progressed and progressed and then became body pain and through the progression of trying to figure and sort everything out we basically hit our finger on that it's fibromyalgia. It is genetically in my family. Um, my biological mother, and you'll hear me say that through the series uh, if it comes up because I'm adopted and I do know who she is. I have found her, um, but uh, she has it uh, quite badly. Uh, so it is genetic. Uh, and I have been suffering from that ever since. Uh, it is pretty rough sometimes and uh, that's what led me to the fact that music has been the constant through all of it. And looking back beyond that, once I really started to delve into why I wanted to do this, that was the real igniter of all of it is I've been a musician, so it's always been my crutch, as it were, to go to and lean on emotionally, 
you know, and everything I could. It was my diary. I didn't write in a book. I wrote songs. I played cover songs and belted out sad songs when I was sad, belted out angry songs when I was angry. And that's where it really all fell in place and clicked. So Jeff's healing music really started with that. And it's slowly evolving. Uh, I use cannabis as pain control because I'm a firm believer that, you know, we shouldn't be putting opiates in our body for pain, um, you know, and becoming addicted that way. I have been through the gambit of things in my life by my own choice and making mistakes and everything else. So I've opened my Facebook page as an open safe space. We talk about I talk about that in my short clips when I go live on short lives on Facebook. It's open for anyone to say anything they want, all inclusive sp space. Um, so Jeff Ceiling Music on Facebook, absolutely open safe space, uh, all inclusive for anybody. And that's my belief that, you know, this world should be one people, one love, no skin color matters, no orientation matters, who you love is who you love, who you are inside matters more than who you are on the outside. And nobody can tell you different. So this week's episode, I really wanted to just sit down and get serious with you guys, but I've also got a feature for you too, so don't worry. While I was down at the Dakota Tavern, I got to sit down with the opening act for my fe uh, friend, Melanie Peterson. They're the Beresfords. They were fantastic. So check out my artist spotlight with the Beresfords. Thanks a lot, guys. Like, subscribe, ring that bell. And if you're checking it out on the Facebook page, jump over to YouTube. Remember to subscribe and ring that bell. sitting at the Dakota Tavern in Toronto and uh, you guys just had a lot of fun on stage. Yeah. It's a great time. Yeah. We just love playing. So. Love playing music. <laughs> you guys are from Aurora, right? Yeah. Aurora. Yeah. Awesome. So like a brother and sister duo. Brother sister. How's that like playing on stage together, <laughs> writing together, doing yeah. stuff like that? It's good. Yeah. Uh, it definitely, you know, we have our own sibling rivalry thing. Typical sibling stuff that happens on long drives when we're late. It's come on, are we on? Yeah, <laughs> it's one or the other. So. Yeah. Do you, do you find it that it gets in the way of, of, of actually performing, or when it's time to perform, brother and sister goes, out, goes yeah. out the window yeah. and you get on stage and it's time to perform? Yeah, yeah. like we become obviously we're family, and like our band is like our family. So it's like when we're up there, it's just like we all just like cohesively come together and. It's it's nice when like you look over and you see like your best friend and your brother and he's just like giving you a look like we're doing good and I'm like okay. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. yeah, it's nice. It's like a security blanket almost. Yeah. Like, How many years have you guys been doing it together now? Seven, eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Plus or minus COVID years, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if everyone Whatever takes away is. the COVID years, we're all two years younger and two years. Well, like, you know. I'd love to feel two years. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. That's fantastic. So you have, I, I heard you on stage, you said you're on all the social medias on Spotify. Do you have any like EP or album releases? Yeah, we have two EPs on Spotify, Apple Music, Google, like all the streaming services, YouTube. Excellent. You can watch it for free on YouTube. Um, awesome. Well, we'll yeah. make sure everybody knows that in the links and stuff. I'll make cool. sure I got yeah. all that. So. That's fantastic. Um, one of the big, big reasons that I like talking to musicians, especially, is because we have an extra sense about what music does for us because we play it all the time. Uh, you know, so I talk a lot about music in our personal care, our self care. So, what do you guys feel about music in, in personal care, like in health care, and taking care of our? 
ourselves. Do you think that that's a big thing that people, you know, are should be doing? Is it a big part of your lives? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been I've been writing lyrics and like poems since I was in grade school, and so I that was always kind of my outlet to just like lock myself in my closet and come up with little melodies and write lyrics and stuff. So you know, similar to the, when people journal. It's, it's like, oh, I don't have any musical ability. Well, you don't need to. You just are, you, you can make a story out of what you're feeling and put it into a poem and put it into something shaped like a song or, you know, it's just, it's really just finding a way to express what you're feeling and it doesn't have to be like, dear diary, today I went, da, 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 da. but it's, you can create a narrative around that for yourself and it, it's a nice form of expression and that's, that's what we can do yeah. for. Certainly to expand on the big things that, uh, you know, I've learned along the last few years for myself is if you're ever having thoughts that are getting in the way of your production at work, life in general, uh, any type of negative thoughts, if you put them out on paper, you'll start to recognize how they are very invalid. You're sort of overplaying it in your mind that's one thing that writing it out can do but if you put it to music there's an extra incentive to do it get it out of your head get it onto the paper put it out to the world and it can relate to someone right you never know and every song eventually touches a heart a different way i think that's a something that as, as songwriters we all hope we can do eventually absolutely yeah. right yeah. right yeah, for sure so outside of your own music and your own writing so what do you guys do with music other people's music do you guys do something with other people's music at, at daily or weekly that you do for like kind of a unwind a self-care kind of thing i yeah i mean i love to take super long walks with my dog so i'll just oh, throw dog. one there's another dog yeah so dogs are great yeah. we have jasper the wonder puppy on jeff's healing music so oh, that's a good thing dogs awesome. are great yes i love dogs yeah we've got a puppy in ride yeah awesome he's really cool very healing for yeah. us <laughs> um, but yeah just listening to some music that doesn't even necessarily match my mood, but it's just it's something that I feel like listening to. It's just it's like I can't even explain it, but yeah, and like we're both into like health and fitness, which is another piece of it, like self care and mental health, and um, yeah, obviously working out and doing stuff like that is listening to music all the time. Can so, encourage you to take yeah. that extra, go around that extra corner on that run, yeah. and go a little bit further. Um, but certainly for me. There are certain records that I fall back to. Uh, you know, I, I have some favorites that I listen to on a rainy day because it just puts me in the moment, um, usually for the better, right? But uh, music makes you feel a certain way, and, and that's why you know, certain songs will gravitate towards for me in certain albums. Uh, I definitely fall back to them for a relatable feeling and a feeling of comfort. On those certain days. Absolutely. I, I think you guys are taking a minute, but you know, you just got Absolutely. on the stage and everything yeah. else. You know, it's great to watch it still hear Melody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Still yeah. Melody. yeah. And that's why I definitely I love the backdrop while I was interviewing Melody. I had you guys and I got to there awesome. to catch some of you guys. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I caught a little clip of you guys playing an original song with Absolutely gorgeous. What was the name of that original right near the end? Uh, we did Can't Chase the Runner at the very end, but then there was Pull My Heart Away before we did Pull My Heart Smith. Away. Yeah. Pull My Heart Away. That was such a beautiful song. Oh, I thank get, you. I, That's I, I, I bet you guys, can, you guys can find that on YouTube, I'm sure. <laughs> that one's not released yet. Well, it will might be, be on oh. YouTube for if you put soon. up on Oh, yes. That's but true. the full yes. version. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. Full, yeah. full band. So production. how do people find you? Um, we're on Instagram at... Official Bearsford Music um, on Facebook at Bearsford Music. Um, booking and parades and everything can go through our email. You can find that on our Instagram or through our Facebook. And yeah, just type us in. And at Bearsford Music on Instagram. On oh, Facebook. Oh, oh, on Facebook yeah. and at Official yes. Bearsford Music yeah. on Instagram. Pretty yeah. much if you put the Bearsford tip on any social media platform, I think we're the only I think, a, I think there's a wiki page. Someone 
someone told me that if you type us a wiki, the page comes up. Someone likes you enough to make a wiki page. That's that's, that's, that's cool. What I don't. Out there. I haven't confirmed, but I, I think that's a thing. I've been well, told. I, I, I don't I'm know. told if you Google, <laughs> if you Google me, you get a foot Canadian football player and a techno music guy and me. So <laughs> pretty lucky. There's only three big hits out there. But check out the Ferris Fruits. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you again. <laughs> And stay in touch. We'll definitely have to maybe get together, do some jamming. Yeah. I like doing that type of stuff too. Yeah. So we'll be in touch for sure. Absolutely. Jeff Silly Music Fam, the Beresfords. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, so. Absolutely. <laughs>